Alliteration Carmen Colon, Wanda Walkowitz, Michelle Monza. There were two of you, the original and then a copycat, both monsters. Churchville, Webster, Macedon. I choose to believe the first a coincidence, but with the second came a killer of little girls who dumped their bodies in places sharing the same double initials. A perverted joke. Marks on her throat. She was covered in scratches, discarded in a field until two boys rode their bicycles past. No one stopped to save Carmen running naked along the expressway as she frantically waved for help. Last seen walking home, she fought back. A trooper found her body, tossed carelessly down a hill. Wanda had street smarts and knew better than to get into the car of somebody she didn't know. Like the others, she came from a broken home, vanishing in late afternoon, unearthed early the next morning. Police saw no link between Michelle's disappearance and the slayings of Carmen and Wanda. Carmen's uncle fled to Puerto Rico after her doll was discovered within his freshly scrubbed car. In 1991, Miguel Colon committed suicide in his home during a domestic dispute, but he couldn't have murdered Wanda or Michelle. Suspected to be a serial rapist, a fireman caught the attention of police. As they closed in, he put an automatic to his head and pulled the trigger. The prime suspect in the double initials killings, Dennis Termini's corpse would be exhumed in 2007. His DNA did not match the genetic evidence collected by police. Over five decades have passed since these investigations started, yet the leads never seem to stop. A veritable horror show of suspects has been considered. Arthur Shawcross, Joseph Nasso, Kenneth Bianchi, the Hillside Strangler, while retired cops search their memories for anything missed.